Hey guys, welcome for another video. You are watching. Hey guys, I uh, hope everyone are doing well. It's been a long time that we have, like, we all met together, right? So uh, let us resume all the videos once again, and uh, we will be uploading the new series where we will be, uh, you know, giving a review about Android pen test tools in the first phase, and we will also give you insights about how to use other tools. If you have uh, guys have any specific tools that you want to work on but you don't know how to use that, or you want to know like what is the you know a maximum output that we can take out from any pen test tools. So you can just uh, let us know like on what tool we want to review so uh, like we will be starting that uh, you know uh, series now and apart from that we will be uh, you know beginning the uh, like again the web uh, pen test uh, series because a lot of people are requesting for that so we will be resuming all the activities once again so in this video uh, we are going to pick up the first tool uh, that is a uh, Medusa. Medusa is uh, one of the popular uh, pen testing tool or we can tell Android malware research tool right now. So many of the people are not so well aware about how Medusa can be utilized to uh, doing Android PD. So in this uh, video, I'm going to give a small, uh, you know, overview on how to use it and what are the uh, possibilities that can be taken out from the Medusa, right? So, uh, I will be using like we need a Linux distro uh, for this. So, this is a GitHub uh, link. I'll be sharing the link of this in the description. This is my Android. Choose. Do I have a connection? Yes, I guess. Yes, I have a good connection. Okay. My Dusa and Okay, we got it. All right, so this is a GitHub. So uh, actually, what do you like? What is Medusa in the sense? Medusa is, uh, you know, one of the automated tools, or you can tell it is a bundle of all, like, you know, the, you know, the exploits for Android. Uh, which is running by keeping Frida as a base, you know, uh, without the Frida support or Frida server, you cannot uh, use a Medusa. So it is being uh, developed from very good, uh, you know, under researcher called Demetros. Uh, uh, like now he's working in a Microsoft, an amazing guy, right? So uh, actually, to be frank, uh, I haven't seen a perfect documentation on how to use a Medusa, but he has given a small PDF on how the like like regarding the workflows of Medusa. If you people want to uh, dig more on uh, the things, you can go ahead and you can uh, check out the things. Apart from that, there is the other tools like inside a Medusa. There are uh, like APK, I think, uh, Mango that Pi and. Uh, you know other uh, other tools uh, yeah here you can see medusa.py uh, which will be used to something like uh, runtime instrumentation or dynamic instrumentation of the apk and it also even help you to hook uh, hook uh, and uh, get the keystroke uh, keys or also like dynamic uh, like you know modification or uh, if at all if you're good in writing your own modules and also it will help you to uh, identify the dynamic code loading or something like bypassing restrictions and all it is a basic thing it given it have and even it also identifies the jni calls or uh, jni calls on the malicious activities like tall fraud click for spyware everything right and the another tool uh like you know that mango.py okay this this works on a component security which helps you to understand how the component is there and whether any kind of uh you know uh some kind of vulnerable uh, endpoints are available or not and apart from that there is apk util spy also which works similar like that right so uh like there is a documentation like if you want to write your own uh medpy in a sense like med uh, we call it as like a module of the medusa right you can write on your own um uh, there is like well given um no documentation for writing your own medusa but there is no documentation on how to use that right but let us go let us go and uh, show you guys like how to use it so let us copy it and let me open let me create one folder Net demo CD 
my demo okay so let us clone it and as i said earlier it runs against a frida so you have to make sure that frida is running whenever you hooking this right so uh, let us go into the medusa attach its own uh, you know uh, requirements dot txt file so to install that pip3 install minus r requirements of txt uh my like uh, i already have it and so it's i mean like uh, already i have all the dependencies installed in my laptop so it's not installing as uh, like it is showing already like dependency i mean like uh, the dependencies is already found so if at all if you are installing for a first time it will install all the dependencies uh, required if one of you what are the dependencies you can uh, check these all of the dependencies required right so uh to start uh freda uh, like medusa try to use a python python3 medusa.py here you will get a uh, one of the like very good ui okay here uh actually like i didn't spawn any device right uh so what what does here in a sense here it will show what all the devices that is been hacked to suppose consider uh like you have uh like three to four uh, uh virtual devices that has been on right here like zero one those are like local socket and local system apart from that you will be getting like two three four uh like so you can you can specify uh, which uh device you want to run the major sub so let us give just as of now one okay uh, now uh give it with the header like if you if you have like proper uh your own uh like avd like it will not show it will directly connect with your avd so just for demonstration i have not showing with avd and all i'm just showing you people how to use it so as i said like medusa is something like if you if you people are familiar with the metasploit uh in kali how metasploit works as a bundle of payloads and and you can tell it, it is a repository of a payloads and which help us to uh you know uh like the exploit right here also medusa can can we can we can complain that uh usually because it has a huge huge repository of exploits right but we can see something like in categories uh, what kind of categories of uh, payload is there to so type show categories you can see all these these are the different kinds of categories under these uh, categories there are a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, hooks or uh, whatever the modules of bundle uh, size there let us let us see one like suppose uh, if you want us to be specific for show more http connections right we have here http communications Right, let us see let, let us see what that http communication contains yeah here you can see uh, these are our bypassing scripts this is ssl bypassing scripts so if you want to bypass ssl pinning uh, you have you know ssl bypass pinning and multi and pinner i would suggest you people to go with multi and pinner because multi and pinner uh, as a very huge success rate than you know ssl pinning as known for everyone so this is related to http communication let us let us check for uh, something else like uh, helpers okay so let us check helpers so more helpers okay so helpers as key store extract uh, you can see here and it uh, like a reflection like it will monitor the reflection and it will monitor the classes and and it has a translator and it's an anti debug which bypasses a root detection you can see right you can use it for bypass root detection also and it it, it, it also helps you to debug cloak so uh, if you want to if you want to like uh, use how to use this uh, like modules right so you you can copy this module name you can just type use paste that like module will get triggered and see this, here is a tip okay suppose consider an apk has a root detection and ssl pinning both so the order should be like first you have to bypass a route because if, if at all if, if you're not bypassing a route you can't even intercept a traffic right so the first module you have to load should be a bypassing a route the second module should like which will be loading will be a ssl pinning uh, uh like you know module right the the order or else the the loading uh, of the module should be in a should go in a proper order suppose uh, the application doesn't have a route detection it's okay 
but always make sure ssl pinning multi and pinner is the first module you load after that you can choose your uh, any module right so apart from that you can you can uh, go something like show mods of uh, which one would be good um, encryption right we'll see encryption it will as suppose consider application as end to end encryption oh okay wait uh, uh show mods and encryption okay suppose consider application as end to end encryption and the data will come and decrypt whenever during a runtime okay so obviously at certain point it will get decrypts right so what methods are these hoops that since it will monitors all those encryption and decryption mechanism and it will display you in a cli so this is how the medusa works uh, and to make you simplify uh, you know there are a lot of tools like you know if you just type help there are a lot of commands that help you to to search packages something like that right search snippet show and uh, script you can you, you can write your own script and uh, export it and uh, you know help us or to to give it something like suppose you want to search for dynamic code loading you can search something like search dynam dyna or something dynamic right so it will it will show that specific string related any uh, modules are there or something like if you want to check for spyware if you want to just search spy you will get uh, spyware hooks right so, and you can easily uh, go and uh, you can uh, just type use and you can go right this is how you want to load and if you want to run uh, or else like, before running suppose consider you want to recheck what all the modules you have uh, uh, like loaded you can just type show mods it will show all the mods and if you want to remove any specific mod you can just select the mod and you can just type remove and paste that mod will be removed and if you see the available mods it will be removed from there so this is how this is how you gonna like uh, load the modules remove the modules and you will check the modules and if you want to once once all the modules are loaded like suppose you consider you have loaded like around 4 to 5 based on your requirement and if you want to run again your application first make sure you go to uh, the adb shell and start a fedora server then you come here and type run minus f and whatever the package name of the application is there right so there again it will ask you to compile and compile it as of now i haven't uh, uh, like you know uh, spawned any avd so when you people are working you can easily work and i'm mean, like when you can easily connect uh, with your adb and you can start it uh to say in a context uh, medusa is uh, one of the better tool i can't tell it is a best tool right uh, but it is it, it is really really well uh, like helpful and better than other tools uh, to instrument uh, the dynamic uh, illustration i can tell and it also gives lot of lot of uh, you know uh, you know signals when we are doing some android malware analysis or thing at the hand uh, i can i can rate uh, around like uh, 9 uh, or 8.5 out of 10 and uh, it would be it would be uh, you know much better if there was any documentation provided because not everyone like, whoever coming as a fresh up he doesn't understand the things very easily if the people who are familiar the and so on uh, with the medusa they know how the things works that's what like that has to be understand from the guy who is uh, who is uh, like using the tool but anyhow for a uh, beginners it would be very good if at all if they had uh, some documentation so this is about this video guys so in a next video let us come with some amazing tools uh, with android pt and we'll also come up with something like writing your own freda scripts or writing your own manjusa scripts in upcoming video see you guys in the next video bye bye